The uh, azimuthal equidistant projection map that the USGS actually uses is the flat earth map. The UN logo is another example of it. The UN logo is actually a flat earth map divided into 33 Masonic sections, by the way. But you can just type in flat earth map on Google. It's a disk shape. The North Pole is in the center. All the continents go out from there. And Antarctica, instead of being a ice continent on the bottom of the globe, actually surrounds us 360 degrees. And how far that ice goes outwards is unknown at this point. So it's a cover-up. That's what the Antarctic Treaty is all about. That's why you can't independently explore Antarctica. And when people like Jarl and Ahoy try to go down there, they get turned away at gunpoint and put in prison. So um, there's a big cover-up there in Antarctica as well. I don't know how far the ice goes, whether there's an edge, a barrier, a dome, or infinite plain. But what we do know is that the earth and the water is completely flat. For as far as we can see and as far as we've measured. And the horizon is completely flat as far up as we go. All amateur rockets and all amateur balloons sent up over 20 miles, as high as they can go. The horizon is flat all the way around, and it rises to the camera all the way up. It rises to the level of the camera. Now, this is totally impossible on a ball. No matter how big the ball was, as you rise up, you have to look down to see the curvature, look down to see the horizon. But what actually happens if you go up in a hot air balloon, the horizon rises right on up with you the whole way up. It just keeps on coming up at eye level as high as you're going to go. That's just impossible on a ball. If you think about it, if, the, if you're on a ball and you're in a hot air balloon or a, an airplane, you should not be able to see out your window, straight out your window, the horizon. You should have to look down further and further down the higher you ascend to be able to see that horizon. But you'll never look down to the horizon on the Earth. Hmm. It will always rise up to your level.